doing good. I'm Tommy Salmons. This is year zero. For three weeks, I've been trying to get this motherfucker on the line, and we've had a lot of issues between the two of us because of our jobs. But I'm here with the famous Quincy. What's up, Q? I got a fist in my pocket and a president's a communist. No, I was... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello, uh, how you doing? You know better than that. Nope, we nope, can, nope, we nope, can nope, end nope. the podcast now. Everybody can <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, how's it been going, brother? You know what? It's actually been going pretty damn well, all things considered. You know why? Ask me why. Why? Because I don't let politics affect my mentals. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man, nothing makes me laugh more than all the people that are going totally fucking ballistic. It, 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 the, the, the lack of meaning that people have in their lives to allow politics to, just, <laughs> to, to affect their attitude at such a level. It, it, On it both just, sides. It's Oh, yeah, but it's hilarious to me. I just laugh. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Do you have nothing else worth living for in your life? I, I laugh, and then I'm just like, wow, y'all really did that shit? Like, people are cutting off family members based on who they vote for. Like, really? Like, you're going to cut off your mother because of who she voted for? Your what? mother. Yeah, are did you, you kidding hear me? That? Did you hear that Don Lemon bullshit? No, but... This it's not a limit. It's just probably some bullshit. Oh, what yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He come out talking about. He come out talking about how he had to cut all these people out of his lives because they're delusional and they're living in this parallel universe. And yeah, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? If you really, really believe that you're right and they're wrong, like why would you care about them enough to go? You know what, man? I think you're wrong, and I love you anyways. And I just don't think we should talk about this because both of us get too upset about it. You don't just be like, I'm going to cut you out of my life because I disagree with you. You know what? You took the words of my mouth. I was about to say that same thing. It's just like there are plenty of people that I'm cool with that we disagree on certain things like nobody's business. End of the day, though, that's still my man's. You know, if they call me up, and ask me to help them at 3 o'clock in the morning. All right, I got you, dog. Like, you're still an asshole with thinking this one way, but you still my homie, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. cutting like cutting people off 100, 100% and, and in particular cutting off a family member? Yeah, can't relate. <laughs> Literally cannot relate. Like, you are out of your damned mind. Like, nah. No, no, no. I yeah, just don't get it. Well, it's like my dad. My dad and I, we go back and forth. When I go over to my parents' house, we go back and forth for hours. But we don't, like, my my parents, my dad, my mom, and my wife, those are my three best friends in my life, right? Like, th those are the people I love and admire and, and trust more than anyone else in my life. So I know he's coming from a good place. You know, like if you if 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 politics is affecting if, if if somebody having a different opinion than you affects you so much, you must have never trusted that person and uh -huh. known that person. Like you must have never given that person the benefit of the doubt. Because I know me and my dad will go back and forth. I'm an anarchist. He's a conservative. He's he's kind of like the old school kind of like like. Ron Paul kind of conservative, maybe not quite as liberty. I thought you was going to say Barry Goldwater or something. He, he might be a little <laughs> bit more Barry Goldwater but without the racism. <laughs> yeah, because I, I never considered conservative and Ron Paul to be in the same sentence. Well, uh, but he gets libertarian, yes. Yeah, yeah, he's more of a, but he's a little bit more like your traditional, like, like, uh, you know, who Andrew Wilco is. And you work out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my man's work out majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's Love that kinda, dude. My dad's kind of like him. He, like, agrees with him. You gotcha. Know what I'm saying? So, As do I. Like, I, 
I like them, you know what I mean? Right. And well, and I mean, I I listen to a lot of people that I like that I disagree with a lot. You know, like, yep. I'm like, oh, all right, yeah, I don't necessarily agree with this, but okay. Uh, but that's kind of like, he's kind of like, my dad's kind of like that. Yeah, you know, like, pretty much down the line, that's what he believes. I'm an anarchist. So we agree on certain things. We disagree on certain <laughs> things. And, you uh-huh. know, like, I can, like, you know, like, we can kind of go back and forth and, and argue and get loud and have fun with it and yada, 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 and make jokes all the whole, all the while. But we're uh-huh. not getting angry at each other. You know what Correct. I'm saying? Like, and so I, you just, you must have had a really, not, not a really good relationship with the type of person that you cut out of your life because you disagree with them politically. Bruh, I feel you on that. Me and my uh, ex are, are like the same way. Um, uh, We are the literal polar opposites when it comes to, to politics she is a dyed in the wool democrat she is firmly in the vote blue no matter who by her own admission joe biden was not even her first second third fourth even fifth choice but he got the nomination so that's who she vote for right yeah i'm she not is, she's just yeah. a team player yeah she's a team player She's a team player. I, I wish she wasn't because some of the shit that he has done, I'm just like, how can you justify that? Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, like that whole, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you, are you kidding? Bruh, like not only did he say it, but I was disgusted by the number of black people defending that bullshit. Like, bruh, I, Thankfully, no black person has sit in front of me and tried to defend it because I might get so upset I'd punch them in their motherfucking mouth. I po- I posted a I made a meme the other day and it was the it was the electoral college numbers. So yeah. it had it had Joe Biden three oh six and Donald Trump, you know, and in and, and in red it was two thirty two. And yeah. I and I'm and I I cut the I cropped the picture so you didn't see their names or their pictures. Yeah. And and so I put black ain't black. <gasps> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh god! Wow! So, so everybody's that oh. everybody that's like going after Donald Trump because of all the white voters he got. I post that picture and I'm like, well, it seems to me like the black vote won. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So, so we have this uh, motherfucker said white and not black. Oh shit! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's. Man, that's writing. Whew, that is comedy gold right there. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah, I love it. I fucking love it. Like, that's just like, I, I don't get, bro, nobody else could have got away with that shit. I don't even, well, well I'm going to like this here. No other white person could have got away with saying that shit. I don't even think Bill Clinton could have got away saying that bullshit back well, in the day. Bill Clinton Definitely, was our first black president. Dog, I swear to God, I like you, I respect you, but even if you say that shit in front of me, you're getting the fucking back end. Like, <laughs> I, just like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, that shit irritates me. Bill Clinton was the first that No, the fuck he wasn't. The fuck is wrong with you? One white boy playing saxophone, all of a sudden he's goddamn Bones Malone? Like, are you nuts? <laughs> Like, if you don't get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit, like, no, 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 no. no. Bill Clinton was not our first black president. Just a white boy who knew how to, you know, play a saxophone and get head. Like, nah, fam. Get out of here. Uh uh-uh. uh. I always, dang, dang. I always thought that was the craziest thing I ever heard when people would say that. I'd be like, what? "That's cool." I always yeah. thought it was the dumbest shit people <laughs> would say. <laughs> he's our first. What? <laughs> Have uh, you so seen wait. this motherfucker? And he's from Bruh. Arkansas of all places. He's racist as fucking Bruh. <laughs> First of all, first of all, since when the fuck? was playing a saxophone strictly a goddamn black thing. Like, like what the fuck is that all about? So this motherfucker shows up in the scene of hall show wearing sunglasses. I was, I was all right, you know, it's cool. 
but that's not gonna make me vote for you. But actually, at that time, I wouldn't even vote not to vote. But I'm just looking at him like you're doing this to get votes, like right, well, whatever. You know, what I'm saying, get out of here. I'm trying to see Salt and Pepper the fuck off the stage. But at least you that know? fucker had a talent. His wife just carried around a bottle of hot sauce. Hey man, speaking of that bullshit. <laughs> Speaking of that bullshit, first of all, first of all, can we at least admit, even if you're a dyed in the wool liberal, even y'all got to admit that high Beyonce not set that line, I got hot sauce in my bag, Hillary Clinton would have never fucking had hot sauce in her goddamn purse. You are really batshit crazy. If you think for the past even five years, this fucking lady is walking around with a bottle of hot sauce in her fucking purse. No, you got to be out your goddamn mind. First of all, she's from Chicago. She's not even from Arkansas. She ain't that no. damn Southern, okay? Second of all, even if she was from Arkansas, she ain't can't have no goddamn hot th- Come on, man. Hot sauce still had a seal on it. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody else saw that either. I'm just like, yo, fam. Come on, fam. Like, get out of here, bro. Okay. First of all, I'm blacker than Ace of Spades. Well, not according to Joe Biden. Uh, I, I, yeah, black and born and raised in Detroit and Houston. I've never, ever seen any woman pull a bottle of hot sauce out of her damn bag. Okay. I mean, yeah, me and my mother snuck in pork chop sandwiches at the movie theater, but that was different, though. I mean, anybody did that, I would imagine. <laughs> Everybody snuck in something. For real. Man, we be sitting there chewing on that shit, and, like, me and my gonna motherfucker daring them to say something, man, we don't mind your business. <laughs> Go on, I get. <laughs> That's some funny shit, man. No, nah, like. Fucking I, hot I, sauce. I can't, I, like, and that's one of oh, the things. Oh, wait, oh. Hold on, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I apologize. I, I did not mean to cut you off, no, but it just ahead. dawned on me when she when she pulled that bullshit out, and Charlemagne was just like, "All right, people are gonna say that uh, you're just pandering," and this part of my language is normally I don't say this about women, but for her it's warranted. This bitch, and again my apologies, had the nerve to say, "All right, is it working? Are you?" What? Uh, and and I'm supposed to be okay with that. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it, that's, you... I mean, that's as bad. As, <sighs> that's as bad as the Jeb Bush like, please clap line. Is it? Worse? I, you know what? Please I, 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 I generally felt sorry for that dude. <laughs> he didn't want to run. He, he, he just wanted to be off somewhere, minding his business, maybe out of you know, Mr. Rogers cosplay convincing or whatever he just wanted to chill you know <laughs> and they forced him lie your last name was come on he didn't want to be up there like i i was just like come here man here man here. hit this weed man we'll take you to the strip club you be all right dog like come on you don't need to be running for office he, just wanted to like, go back to, he wanted to go back to florida and hang out with the cuban pop- population man he was just like yeah because they love them back of- there Give me a mountain of blow and let me chill with Scarface and I'll be all good. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to ask this as a question. Yo. And, well, I ain't going to say about it. A lot of the people want to harp on the fact that, you know, uh, how the hell could you be black and conservative and this, that, and the third? It seems, you know, but <clears throat> people either seem to forget or just that I don't know. Uh, there are a lot <laughs> of Latino Republicans in Florida. Mm-hmm. But you never hear about them catching flack oh, or you hear about year. them. You did this year. Really? Where? Because oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I ain't see done. shit. No, no, no. I heard I heard all kinds of motherfuckers saying uh, that their whiteness was showing. What? Uh, yeah, this year. Damn, okay. Voting for Donald Trump because he got so many much of the Cuban vote and the Venezuelan vote. And, you know, he pandered those motherfuckers calling the fucking Democrats socialist, you know, and they fled socialism. So obviously yep. they're not going to fucking be cool with socialists. So nope. he was pandering to those people and fucking, yeah, like a whole uh, Hispanic county 
in Texas, Zapata County, that Hillary Clinton had won. It's down in uh, near Brownsville, I think. Hillary Clinton had destroyed Donald Trump in 2016. Donald Trump won that county in 2020. And people were saying that these people were experiencing whiteness. But see, that brings us to another point. Because then you got these same Jesus. people that saying these Hispanics are 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 polluted with whiteness, saying that being on time or hard work or any of these other you know qualities that that go into being a responsible adult are considered whiteness, you know. And so like but, it's some of the most racist shit. I say say God. Saying that you're incapable of being on time or a responsible, hardworking adult taking care of your children unless you're white, like that's racist as fuck. Bruh, I, I'm 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 dead ass like I will really hurt somebody if they approach me with that BS. It's like it happens every election cycle. Apparently now to the Latinos, as much as it does my fellow brothers and sisters, right. we get treated real damn stupid with regards to government, <laughs> and I'm I've I'm long since been done with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember, uh, uh, like up, like this is this isn't coming out of government, man. This is coming out of this is coming media. out of the universities. This yeah, is, this is actually like the 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 university definition of whiteness they are they are labeling as people that work hard and are on time and this that and the other you know bruh 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 like, y'all are being y'all are being totally fucking racist acting like a black man can't do for himself thank you oh my god bruh say it again for the motherfuckers in the cheap cheats yes i'll even i'll, I'll even god, I, I'll, this clap. Shit. I'll clap too you know those leftists they like yes. to clap. you are being Racist. Wow. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, dude, uh, you know what? Honestly, it is so damn true. Like, I, I like, I, I've had some white people like, yo, man, like, it must really suck to be a, uh, a freaking black man nowadays. Like, dude, you have no fucking idea. Like, we're we we're catching it from all sides. Like, I, I remember. Uh, freaking Democrats got all butthurt about the whole voter ID, uh, uh, ID fiasco. And I remember somebody, they even went, uh, they either went to Berkeley or the NYU or whatever. Right. And they were asking the college students, you know, are you in favor of a voter ID? And then where all of them, or at least it was edited to look like damn near all of them said that, no, nah, that's not a. That's that's not a a good idea because uh, black people don't have a very good way to get a, an ID. What? Huh? Yeah, they're, they're oh, and and, they, they and also is racist. They're not. You know what? Go to any of these fucking black cities. I guarantee you, you fucking liberal fuckheads. All right. Go to any of these fucking black neighborhoods in in the inner city of Houston or Baltimore or Chicago, any of these fucking places and ask a black man, do you know where the DMV is? I guarantee uh, you they give you fucking directions, you fucking retards. It's like you're in my head, sir. My my thing is this here. How is it racist to show an idea to vote? But it's not racist to show an ID for everything else you have to show an ID for. Right. Think yeah. about it. Yeah. You have to show an ID to cash a check, open up a bank account, rent a car, a enter beer. a federal building, buy beer, I mean, and shit. everything. It's not racist for all that, but when it comes to the voting, I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But now all of a sudden it's racist. You know what I mean? And as far as... You know this bullshit argument about they uh, they have a they, they'll have a hard time getting to the DMV. Uh, hey man, listen, we're getting everywhere else. Yeah, we're getting to work, bullshit, to school, man. to it's church. Bullshit. And you're gonna tell me when it comes to the getting to the DMV, now all of a sudden we're dumb? Well, nah. It's some fucking maternalistic bullshit. That because you have more melanin in your skin, you need to be cared for. Right? It's, I, it's I, like... I, I, you know what? Hey, look, man. I, I'm, I'm just a stupid country white boy. 
All right. I lived in the South most of my life. I, I grew up in Katy and Houston and Dallas and fucking in, in Moss Bluff and Lake Charles. All right. I'm a stupid Southern white boy, but I goddamn guarantee you, I ain't ever met a black man that wanted to be coddled or fucking babied. Never met that dude. Okay, well, first off, you ain't white. You're just light-skinned. you one of us. <laughs> I, got enough, of, I got enough tattoos. I'm trying, I mean, I'm trying to make the change. Michael Boom. Jackson went one way. I'm going the other. Lord have mercy. Get off the phone. Jones <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on. Listen. Uh, actually, I actually do want to get, hey, we want to get technical. I get called a white guy. I do have blue eyes and brown hair. But I'm probably much more fucking Native American than I am white. I I'll just be honest with you. There you go, man. But, Let's see. You have so many Democrats thinking that without them and or the government, black people can't be successful. I'm like, are you fucking like, like what? Like I, I I remember talking to somebody who was actually a member of the local Democrat uh, party in Austin. And I was telling the uh, well, I, I didn't even well I can say the agenda. I was telling uh, him why I'm you know not voting Democrat anymore, and this motherfucker said the nerve after all we've done for you people. What? What? Huh? Who the fuck are you? What have you I'm done just like, for me? I'm like I'm like I'm like well can you say that again? And I gotta admit to his credit the boss little shit. <laughs> Yeah, actually, like, you heard me. After all we've done for you and your people, you're just going to turn your back on us? And I'm just like, hey, you know what? You should thank the host of this party. He's like, why? He's like, well, if he wasn't here, if we were just me and you, I'd be beating your ass right now for saying that stupid-ass shit. Like, you're talking to me like I owe you something? Like, like, like you know, you've done something for me? <clears throat> no. No, 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 no. Like, you got you your damn mind. Like, get out of here. Like, that's that's how a lot, a, at least a lot of the Democrats that I've met think. Like, I can't be successful without their help. Okay. You know so, what I'm saying? So, so let me ask you. Let me ask you yeah. this. Because this is, this seems to be, you brought it up a minute ago and, like, we kind of went off track and kind of went on our own little, like, path. But when some, when, when people, like, are surprised about, somebody being uh, a conservative and they their skin happens to be a darker shade than other people's what what is like what makes them think number one they're entitled to your vote but number two like what why is it that that black people and not all black people but some black people might be attracted to conservatism like, could you clear that up? Because apparently they don't understand this. And they want to call you like an Uncle Tom because you disagree with them. Okay, well, first of all, let me say, I am not a conservative. Oh, However, I, know you're, I know you're not, yeah. but I know okay. you can think outside the box and say, Correct. Okay, I mean, there are some principles. Because of this. Yeah, yeah. Now, there are some principles of conservatism that I, that I rock with, you know, but I am not a conservative. Right. And can we please stop asking, you know, conservatives the question, well, what do you want to conserve? Like, y'all yeah, have been doing that for 10 years. Knock it off. Find some new material or whatever. Um, here's why I can see some black people leaning or at least thinking about conservative. Number one, first and foremost, it's something new. Um, it, is, it, is, it is something new. Honestly, like, in us tones behind closed doors, Black people are really socially conservative on a lot of things. Right. Some are even fiscally conservative, but we don't tend to say that a lot in public because, I mean, yeah, it's just like hanging a noose on your neck. Oh, my God, a black guy said noose. Yeah, whatever, deal with it. Um, the the left-leaning media... You know, your CNN, NBC, MSNBC, you know, media matters, folks like that. New York Times, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever leaning newspaper, left leaning newspaper you, you can think of, they have done a masterful job for decades 
convincing generations of black people that no matter how bad your life sucks, we can guarantee them to you if you vote, if you don't vote Democrat, it'll be a thousand times worse. Well, even you like, know what uh, I mean. We were talking about Joe Biden earlier. He, yeah. he, he, he actually said a few years ago, they're going to put y'all back in chains. Man. I mean, he did yeah. say that. Yeah, I know. I and, saw it. I heard it. Well, and and, here's, uh, some, here's something that, that a lot of people don't understand. This rhetoric is not new. All right? It may no, be new no, it to is the not. U.S., but it's not new. Because in South Africa, my, my wife, being from South Africa, she... Word? Yeah, man. That's why I was talking Afrikaans on Twitter earlier. But that's another that's another part, uh, another fucking subject. Anyway, my wife being from South Africa, one of the things she tells me is is that the the black South Africans, even though they're unhappy with the ANC, they are so afraid to vote for the DA because they're afraid that they're going to bring back apartheid. And it's like, there's, that's over. It's, it's done. You know, like it's ended, like it's over. We're not going back there. We understand it was a bad idea and that it did nothing well, that nothing good came of it, but they are still so afraid of. So like, this is rhetoric that is used like around the world, you know, things like this. And, and so when, when Biden comes out and he says some bullshit, like they're going to put y'all back in chains, people like me look around and go, like, I ain't trying to put nobody in no fucking chains, man. I just want to be left the fuck alone. Like, Bro, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. You know? That's, uh, yeah, that's, um, that's like the argument I get when I say I advocate for the Tenth Amendment heavy, very, very heavy. Yeah. For those that may not know, the Tenth Amendment clearly states that anything not uh, specified in the uh, either in the Constitution or the 18 enumerated powers, uh, is reserved then either to the states, or the county, or the city, or the people, right. or just don't do it. So anytime I say that I'm in favor of the Tenth Amendment, here comes some dumbass. Oh, so I guess that means you're okay with Alabama putting slavery back on the books, huh? Huh? They're not gonna when do the, it. It's not gonna happen. When the fuck did I say that? I mean, first of all, uh, we have the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. Those are there, you know. But you know what? Let's go ahead and play a little BS game, suspend reality, and let's say, okay, 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 Alabama puts back in slavery. First of all, for whom? Is it just black people, all minorities? Like, who just became a slave and who gets to make that call, okay? Second of all, do you really think the people you just made slaves are just going to sit there and wait to get picked? No, they're going to get the fuck out of your state. So it's like, like I said on, on, on this other podcast, like if Alabama uh, uh, reenacted slavery, all they're going to do is uh, double the economy of Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be a whole bunch of motherfuckers getting the fuck out that damn state or die trying, okay. you know? Well, there's going to be a lot of motherfuckers going into that state, getting them motherfuckers out of the state. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. That, like, I, ne I never thought about that. Yes. This country you, is armed. You, you don't like, think the people in Alabama would call their cousins up? Yeah. There are guns in this country. You can't just do some shit like that and expect people not to fucking rise up. You know? Boom. Boom. Like, right there. You know, like, they called, like, like all right, so, like, Tennessee... They're known as the volunteers. Why are they mm -hmm. known as the volunteers? Because when Texas was fighting for its independence from Mexico, a bunch of them motherfuckers from Tennessee volunteered and went to Texas to fight off for the Texas independence. Right? I, so That's so, how they got the nickname? I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that's where it comes from. Like a lot Holy of the guys, shit. A lot of the guys in the Alamo were actually from Tennessee. Huh. Yeah, so like this is the like this is this idea is not bullshit. Shit, even here recently, we've had leftists going over and fighting with ISIS overseas. People will pick up arms and go fight for what they believe in. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so there's nobody going to be sitting around going, yo, man, yeah, just enslave them motherfuckers, and I'm going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and go through my day. <laughs> no. You know how many motherfuckers would show up with guns on, at the state of Alabama? They, number one, they'd have to outlaw private ownership of guns. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah, they, and that's and that's not going to go over so well in Alabama. Yeah, exactly. You know. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, yeah, you people are delusional. You think yeah. you're going to fucking do this bruh, shit? You think bruh, anybody you, wants <laughs> this shit? Bro, you know how fucked up shit is? Like, Joe Biden ain't even got sworn in yet, and some people on the left are already mad at him. <laughs> they were mad yeah. at him beforehand, and this is what this is what makes me laugh, is a lot of these motherfuckers that voted for Joe Biden, we can start talking about the election now, but a lot of these motherfuckers yeah. that voted for Joe Biden because they were so scared of Donald Trump, and I'll put that in air quotes, scared in air quotes, of Donald Trump, fucking hated Joe Biden from the very fucking get-go. They never even liked the motherfucker. And Joe Biden's not going to do anything good. Like, they think, they, they think, they truly believe they are going to move him left. They truly believe this. He's putting Bro. a bunch of neocons, a bunch of ex-George W. Bush fucking supporters in his fucking cabinet. He's going to start massive amount of war wars he's going to destroy the economy like this guy it doesn't give a shit about the left he doesn't give a shit about black people he cares about fucking power and his corporate is fucking donors that's who he cares about did you hear that i do that's me clapping. Look, <laughs> that's why you get the big piece of chicken listen uh <laughs> It's um, uh, I'm 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 looking at a tweet now from at Sunrise Movement. They're a leftist group of uh, committed to uh, climate change and everything. We are outside Joe Biden's campaign office demanding that he fulfill his climate mandate. We elected you, and now it's time you act. They got signs that say Biden, be brave. They are already on that man's neck. Ain't even been. And he's been uh, been us warning yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Inauguration um, ain't even taking place. They're all also nuts. Uh, let me say this to all the black people that voted for Joe Biden. I will bet not hear one goddamn complaint out of your bitch ass mouth for the next four years or eight or however long he's in office. The way you motherfuckers deep throated this man, yeah, shut up and own it. Whatever he does, okay, because. You enabled this song, bitch. You know what I'm saying? All because orange men bad, punks. I don't want to hear nothing out your damn mouth at all. I don't want to hear it, okay? Also, a lot of you sons of bitches is going to be real damn mad when you find out that all you going to get for your hard work is a pat on the head and a thanks darky, and that's it. Right. Well, well, you know, like, the, the Black Lives Matter organization, which you and I both know is Marxist organization, approached Joe <laughs> Biden after after um, they after CNN and all these media corporations decided that they were going to project him as the the winner of the election. They approached him and they said, all right, we we turned out big for you. So we want something for our votes. This guy ain't going to give you all shit. He was in the Obama administration. They didn't do shit for y'all. Like, these people don't give a fuck about you, man. They don't care about you. Listen, listen. First off, first off, I don't even think he's going to do, I don't think he's going to be all that great. Because, quite honestly, I don't, I think Obama is that type of petty to work behind the scenes to make sure that Joe Biden doesn't outshine him in his first term, because I can guarantee you at the end of his first term, somebody, either on the left or the right or both, they're going to do a year by year comparison Biden to Obama. Right. And I think Obama is that level of petty to where he don't want Joe Biden to outshine him and would work behind the scenes to make sure that he does good, but not that good. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I feel you. Yep. I did. I did make a joke the other day, 
and uh, I it was in private. I didn't make it in public, so I'm going to make it in public now because I thought it was fucking hilarious. Everybody's going around saying how racist Trump is. I said, yeah, Trump is so racist that he fucking extended the the amount of grants and loans that historically black colleges get because he was tired of seeing all those black people in his office every year. So he's like, can't y'all be gone for like 10 years or something like that? So he just gave him a bunch of money to go away. Man, listen, I I know that Trump made some misguided comments about the Central Park Five. I understand he had his housing discrimination uh, lawsuits and everything. I get all that. What we can't forget about, I mean, let's just be honest, at least in New York City, black people, especially famous black people, loved Donald Trump until he decided to run for office. How many pictures have we seen of him with oh, Jesse, Jesse Jackson, Jackson, Al Sharpton, yeah, exactly. uh, Mike Tyson, Oprah. 50 Cent? Yeah, Oprah and everything. Come on now. Well, here, here's another thing that people fucking fail to, fail to like, like take into consideration. He's, he's over 70 years old. Like, the way you talk about race 70 years ago, 50 years ago even, is completely different uh-huh. than the way we talk about race today. Completely oh, hell yeah. different. Everybody damn near was, was like Archie I mean, Bunker like back by, then. By today's standards, everybody back then was racist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Joe Biden, 77 years old. You think we can't find him fucking hanging out with a Klansman? I mean, there's no one heard. He Bruh, spoke I, at Robert Burton's funeral. Bruh, like, but the fact of the matter is, it was it was years ago, man. Like today's standards of racism don't like you can't hold them people accountable from 50 years ago up to today's standards. I mean, it's just not it's just not possible. Bro, I, I I remember being at my grandmother's house in '88, and she was. In her seventies, and still using the term "white devils" for every white person that she saw. Yeah, I, it was it was just a different time for them exactly. back then. Yeah, like she literally called every white person she saw a white devil. I'm just like, wow, just yeah. okay, you know. I mean, just like, yeah. what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, just I just mm. yeah. What the hell are we no. talking about? All right. Well, no, I wanted I wanted to move along a little bit because we mm-hmm. all right, so we kind of talk about like why black people might be like attracted to the conservative message. I wanted to mm-hmm. get your opinion on the mm-hmm. fact that that Trump was able to mobilize young black men specifically. Like, do you have like some kind of like like idea as to what in the culture attracted young black men to Trump? I don't, so I'm just going to guess. Okay. They decided to take a chance. They decided, like, you know what? Couldn't be couldn't be worse than what the bullshit I've been going through, so why the hell not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm guessing they they decided to, um, you know, do some research and figure, eh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll be honest with you, like, when people ask, like, why did I support Trump? Just like, for no other reason than he was a political outsider. We were talking about somebody who never held political office before in any way, shape, or form. Not even a school board, not even a dog catcher. Right. This man went straight from the private sector to the White House, which has never been done before. Every president before him was either in the in the government already or they were or they were uh military in the military or, yeah. or something like that. Every single president. Right. So for him to go straight from the you know, from the freaking practice squad to the to the freaking varsity, I mean, damn, I got to respect that. Plus, you know, um, love him, I hate him, and a lot of y'all hate him. He's not afraid to call balls and strikes, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody on Will Kyle's show said, yeah, he's not afraid to call the baby ugly. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's definitely true. I can respect that. Right. Yeah, I, it's like, love him, I hate him, you know exactly where you stand with that dude. Right. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and you know, like, kind of, like, all right, kind of what I was thinking is just the idea that he was such a middle finger, you know, like to yeah. everybody and to, to, loved to see, it, and to see how fucking crazy 
he made fucking people. I know, mm-hmm. like, from my experience growing up and being around, like, the amount, amount of young black men I was around when I was growing up and hanging out, like, they would have laughed their ass off about that shit. You know what Bruh, I mean? They would have thought that was the funniest shit in the world. And Oof. I could see some of the dudes I hung out with and I knew back growing up that would have been like, fuck you, I'm going to vote for this motherfucker because fuck all these people. They're fucking for insane. For real. You know? You know, you Man. got like the Obama types that come out and they say, you know, pull your pants up, you know, act more like you're in the white culture and shit like that. Trump never said nothing like that. He's just like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna work for you. We're going to fucking try to figure it out. We're going to work for you. We're not asking you to abandon who you are or what you believe in or or how you think. We're just going to work for you. And I thought that was something like I thought that was something interesting about Trump. Indeed. I mean, again, like I said, people, you know what? His numbers actually went up with uh, with uh, with uh, black men this year, I think from like eight to 12 percent, which I know it ain't much, but that's actually pretty huge for a Republican and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, What I understand was it was it was it was black men under the age of 25 that really turned for him like more than more than like just the black population in general. It was black men under the age of 25 where he was really – he increased his numbers uh, in the black population, if I, if go- I understood the numbers correctly. It goes back to what you said. It's like, you know, when you were growing up, you know, guys your age, you know, would, would have laughed their ass off and voted for him. This is them right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They saw him just like, you know what? Eh, fuck, he's funny, man. I like to do I like his swag. Let me go ahead and, uh, and uh, vote for him. And, you know, to go back to something I, I spoke on earlier, uh, not only did black people love him, Democrats, especially New York City Democrats, they definitely loved him for, the, for, for this one reason. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't get to be a real estate tycoon in New York City without being very, very friendly with Democrat politicians in high places. Right. That's just a fact. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, it, Democrats run New York City. Okay? And they and uh, there's all the politicians are Democrats. There might be one or two Republicans on Staten Island or something like that. But most of your your uh, your commissioners, with regard to housing, they're Democrats. Again, you don't you don't get to rise to a level of Donald Trump with regards to real estate without being at least friendly with the Democrats or outright paying them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I don't get this this turn just because he was running for office. Is it strictly because there's an R behind his last name and not a D? Because if so, that's some petty shit right there. Yeah, for sure. And I think, you know, I, you know, I looked at, I looked at this election like really, I found it really interesting because it wasn't, and, and this is, I think a lot of people miss this. It was not so much that Donald Trump was running against Joe Biden. Like, I know that's what we saw being like the election. I I know those were the names on the ballots, but that's not what was happening. This was Donald Trump versus the media. Like, this was a, a complete corporate machine put in motion to destroy one man and to... yeah basically dethrone, for lack of a better term, one man. And if the numbers stand, and I know there's a lot of fucking speculation about what's going on with these lawsuits. And Dude, this I've, fraud. I've, I, I watched the... I've got a conspiracy theory that's going <laughs> to blow your mind, but go ahead. And I, wa- I watched the... Um, I watched the... Um, the Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell today give their press conference. So I watched all that. I know what's going on. Is Rudy okay? I mean, I mean, I I called, I I, I called Rudy Giuliani, the Jim Garrison of our generation. Ah, get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, but yeah, so like, I, but, but without me taking into consideration that, 
just <clears> looking <throat> at the numbers that are registered, the fact that that Donald Trump pulled out, <clears throat> excuse me, 73 million votes. In a, are you in, okay? <laughs> I've, I've had a cold for like a week, man. Okay. All right. Yeah, the fact that Donald Trump pulled out like 73 million votes in in in, in against a one trillion dollar a year fucking industry like the mm-hmm. media is fucking remarkable. Yep. Yeah, it's uh dude, um I think it, it, I think they won so hard this time. Because I, I, I think they figured they had to make up for 2016 yeah. and just decided to throw everything at them, including the kitchen sink. Um, I just said, I, I, I thought it was going to be a landslide for Trump and end up costing me $300. But, you know, it is what it is. And, and, and you know what? You know what? It is what it is. Um, my, uh, I came up with a theory. One night when I was at the bar, not sober, <laughs> let's say, and I've said this before, so if you're just another podcast, my apologies, but I like it and I'm standing by it because it may come true, could come true. Let's say he gets certified in by the Electoral College on the 14th, which, by the way, watch on December 14th. If and when the Electoral College does certify Joe Biden as the as the winner, watch all the Democrats. They're going to fucking love the, the Electoral College then. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Uh-huh. But anywho, let's say it's two years into Biden's term, okay? Uh-huh. He pisses off the wrong person, okay? Mm-hmm. For any reason, whatever. Let's just say they ain't happy and Joe Biden is the reason why they ain't happy. A week after he pisses them off, information comes out from both MSNBC and Fox News, right. both saying the same thing. The Biden campaign, with Joe Biden's direct authority, confirmation, and knowledge, did commit election fraud. They stole the election. Donald Trump is the rightful president. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the Greco-Roman cluster fuck that would be. Oh, yeah, that would I be so awesome to me. I don't think they would do that because I, Joe Biden is an empty vessel. He's not going to. You never know. Out. You never know. He's not going to do anything and make him that mad. But here's kind you of never my, know. here's what my theory is. Okay. Yeah. So we all witnessed what has happened for the last four years. We mm-hmm. all saw how the media treated Donald Trump. I mean, even even like sinking down to the level of insulting him for the way he eats steak. All right? Like that nothing he could do. Like if he farted, it was treason. I it was it was horrible for 4 years. We saw Russia Gate, we saw the impeachment and we saw the news media constantly attack Donald Trump. All right. So let's say that they are able to produce enough information to overturn the Electoral College results, all right? And it's still a possibility. We have a little bit of time, so it's still a possibility. It, go, it gets kicked to the House. It gets kicked to the House of Representatives. It doesn't automatically just go to Donald Trump. Because if he's unable to prove that he had 270 electoral votes and and uh, Joe Biden doesn't have 270 electoral votes, it goes to the House of Representatives and they delegate and they vote. OK, so the in and, and, and it's each state gets one vote in the House of Representatives, the even though the Democrats have more representatives in the House. The Republicans control more states, all right? So let's say they all say, well, yeah, we don't, we're not going to elect Joe Biden because there was fraud on the Democrat side, but we are all sick and tired of Donald Trump. So they elect another 
Republican to be the president of the United States. Let's say they elect Mike Pence or yeah. or or uh, Mitt Romney in oh. of Donald Trump. Do you know, Listen. like, they, no, this is a win-win scenario for everybody. All right? So now you have the complete destruction and and of of the uh, corporate press, CNN, New York Times, all of them burned to the ground because they have no more orange man bad to go go to, and they've been proven as complete frauds over the last four fucking years, right? The the electoral process is completely uh, destabilized. Nobody trusts in it, and the government no longer has the faith of the people. Maybe then we can start experiencing some freedom in our lives. Mm, preach, you spicy motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> um, I have nothing to add to that. That was just that was just wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> more of that, please. <laughs> more of That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking at, and I'm watching this, and I'm just watching the whole fucking. I'm watching the cathedral burn down, and I'm just laughing because I'm like, you motherfuckers are just going to get us to a position to where more people are going to distrust you. Nobody's going to care what you say or what you think or what you yep. say is legitimate. And that's what I want because the whole fucking thing should be fucking torn down and and liberty should be installed in its place. Uh, folks, uh, while you're listening to this good ass preaching, we're going to pass around the collection plate. <laughs> Put something in. OK, now. Now, we're happy to get the kind of money that jingles, but we better get the kind that folds, if you know what I mean. I do Pass have a it Patreon, around. I just don't ask for money. <laughs> man, you better, man, you better promote that Patreon. What you doing? No, oh, Catch is getting money off these podcasts. Are you kidding me? I, I'm going to eventually. I'm just having, I just haven't even started thinking about it at this point. Okay. <laughs> But when y'all ready, it's patreon.com backslash pipe layer 72. That's his Patreon. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll, I'll, give you, I'll, give you, I'll give him my Patreon. Like, hold on. Let me let me even log in. Let me see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's that damn password again? <laughs> I don't, oh, look. Yeah, it's asking me to log in. Like, no. <laughs> oh, hey, no, honey, no, what's the password? I, I think it's. I think it's <laughs> I think it's backslash TD Salmons, if I'm not mistaken. Backslash TD Salmons. Patreon.com backslash TD Salmons. If you don't get it that way, don't worry about it. I ain't asking y'all for money. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, give it up. <laughs> I put out a tweet. I put out I, I, I put out a tweet about a couple days ago that said Grifton season is over. It's now Shifting season, as in I'm shifting money from your pockets to my pockets. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It is shifting season. Let's go, baby. Get it. Get it and then give it. Let's go. Chop, uh, chop. Yeah. All right, man. Well, hey, wrap us up, man. What you got like to end, end this off with? Okay. Hey, good shit for us. Okay. Here's what I got for y'all. The election's over, people. Now what? Huh? Now what? Are you going to bless up and prosper or curl up in a little ball and ask for mommy? Choose wisely. For God's sakes, man. People are watching you. Okay? Take care of yourself, your health, your wealth, all of that. You got family? Love them. Got wife and kids? Love them too. Got friends? Definitely love them. Okay? Stop letting politics you know, besides your freaking mental, you know, uh, well, well being and whatnot, knock it off, knock it off. You're going to be okay. No matter which president is in office. I promise you, you made it this far. You can make it some more. You know that as well as I do. All right. All right. That sounds good, man. Where can everybody find you? BBW Thottickler on Twitter. That is me. I'm only on there. I mean, 
Yeah, I'm not on Instagram. I am on Instagram, but I'm dead as I haven't posted in five years. I'm not on Facebook because I enjoy having a soul. Um, so yeah, you can find me <laughs> find me on Twitter. That's where I be at. Sounds good, man. Well, everybody, I'm Tommy Salmons. That was my and I'm, Yo. Go ahead and say it. Oh, I, now that's all I got is yo. <laughs> That's Quincy. Late.